Good morning, everybody. This is Connie, and I'm here with a Get Ready With Me. It's been a pretty uh, rough week here. I um, had my boss called me for a meeting on Monday and let me go. I thought that I, or better yet, I was starting to feel very secure in my job. I knew that him and I were having some problems. He is a young guy. He is a big guy. He's an ex-wrestler. So he kind of towers over me, and I'm, I'm not a little person. And he is overbearing. He is um, kind of a bully, I guess you would say. He always found fault in something I did, every single shift I did. He would find something. He would nitpick at the smallest things or things that were out of my control always ended up in my lap. It was increasingly getting worse. I honestly think that he was looking, you know, what, when he hired me, he said he's tired of the young kids. But to be honest, the young kids are who pull in the business and I didn't um, you know I had my regular people but they were all my age and the young people are who are spending the money in the bars the old people go home and sit and drink all day you know they'll come I had people that had been grandfathered in from when the bar first started and they got um, discounts on their drinks. I mean, you know, they would get, instead of paying for two beers for $6, they would get two for five or whatever. So they would come in and they would start their day with me when I'd come in. Um, in the casino, I wasn't pulling any in any business. Uh, that was, he told me he had his reasons for letting me go. Um, I couldn't pull out any more than that from him. I have applied for um, unemployment. I have applied for a few jobs. Do you know how tough it was for me in January when when I got let go in January, laid off in January that that um, to find a job. I mean, I didn't find a job until um, I don't even remember when I first started at at the nursing home there. I don't even remember, but I was off work for a long time. Or for, you know, a few, few months, three months, four months, whatever it was. And I'm just, uh, you know, I'm over the, I, I cried for a couple of days. I, oh, woe is me type stuff. But now it's time to get up and get moving and get things done. I need to find another job. I don't know. My work history is so rotten. I mean, I have slowly dug myself into such a hole. I don't know that I'm ever going to get out. I Who wants to hire a 60-year-old fat woman? You know what I mean? Um, when there's so many young people looking for work that are have more schooling than I have. You know, I've got associate's degrees. I've got two of them. But Neither one of them is doing me a bit of good right now. Um, I put some money behind, you know, for a rainy day. Well, that rainy day came a little bit ago because I had um, a guy that was threatening to take me to court over an old bill, so I had to pay it, um, which was $700. And that's about all I had. So now... I, I got a $200 check on Monday. I had to pay my, my phone bill or else they were going to shut me off. I had to, um, my mom, luck, my car is falling apart. Luckily, my mom will help me with that much. She's helping me with my car, getting, you know, paying for that. And I'll pay her back once I can. But I, I, I don't have money for rent. I don't have money to pay my cable or my internet bill. Cable, I could do without cable. Um, 
which I will, I don't know. Uh, but my internet, I have to have my internet. I just have to. First of all, you know, that's how I apply for most of my jobs. Um, plus, there's you guys. You guys keep me sane. You help me out when I need it. I mean, I got so much help in January. I hate to ask for more help. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to. Because I don't know what else to do. I bought a few groceries on Monday. So, you know, a few staples that will get me through for, you know, I, I've probably got enough food to last me at least a month. Um, you know, I've got some canned stuff. I've got some, a few, fro I've just got a little itty bitty freezer, so I couldn't buy a whole lot of that stuff. But, you know, I can, I can go to the Dollar Tree and get stuff to eat, you know, if I got the money. But I don't have the money right now. Um, like I said, I got a couple hundred dollars on Monday, and that was it. And I went and I bought $50 worth of groceries. I had to pay $50 on my phone bill. That's $100. Um, I had to, and I've still got two, I've got my giveaway prizes I have to mail out. I have, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to flake on that. I have to do that. That is just something that needs to be done. And I have my, um, I've got, my weekly giveaway from my making it work. I am going to miss that series so much. And if and when I get a new job, I will um, go ahead and I will start that up again. But it's just, I figure it's just on hiatus. But um, I'm going to try to fill up the, you know, my channel with at least a couple videos a week. Um, I'll do a. I'll still do a get ready with me a week. I'll do my coloring book and my paranormal obsession videos every week. Um, my coloring books. I only have I think four left. Or no, actually I've got one good one left. Two itty bitty ones from the the um, uh, Dollar Tree, and then I've got one magazine that I have that um, you know it's got some coloring stuff in it. I wanted to show you guys. So that's it for that. So, you know, but I can, I got to figure out how to get around this um, um, lifting up my tripod and stuff so I can color and stuff for you guys. I don't know. Right now, I'm, I'm at kind of a loss. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm in the same boat I was in January. I am broke and... I don't know what I'm going to do. My landlord will probably let me go a month behind. So that gives me maybe until November 1st or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just at such a loss. Um, I'm not going to cry for you guys. I'm not, I'm done with that. It's time to put my big pant or my big girl panties on and, go out and try to find a job but it's so hard for somebody my age and my you know I I can't be on my feet for very long at a time I've got you know I can't draw disability because I don't really have a disability except for I'm old and I'm fat you know <laughs> my depression is kicking in my oh boy but I'm, I'm really trying to pull myself out of that I need my medications. I'm just about out of my medications. Oh. Just when you, you know, you, you pull yourself out. You, you know, I by my bootstraps, I pulled myself out and I got this job and I, I was catching up on things and I finally got all caught up on my cable and my rent and all that stuff. Completely caught up. Then the rug gets pulled out from under me again. So that is the update on me. I will be back in just a little bit with uh, Get Ready With Me. Um, I am going to go out and look for a job today and maybe go to, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get any food stamps or anything like that, but I'm going to go try to do that. Um, I know I won't be able to get any help from Salvation Army. I, 
you know, I'd have to probably wait a month for that. Oh, boy. Life really sucks sometimes. It really does. I don't know what to say. I, I'm heartbroken. This is not a position that I want to be in. I can't imagine what it's going to be like. You know, I don't even start getting Social Security for, what, five years. I don't even know when you start getting Social Security now. Is it 65? I'm 60. So I don't even have that to fall back on. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. You know, if I didn't have you to vent to, but I wanted to give you this update because of me just stopping my Making It Work series and, and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll have to be creative and think about what kind of videos I want to put up for you guys because I don't want to stop this. This is kind of my lifeline. You know, I, I've i made friends. I've I've made and lost so many friends on YouTube. You know, I, I saw a rant today about that. You know, it's people grow, people forget about you. Um, you know, they're, I'm talking about people on YouTube. They, they completely forget about you. They, there's mean people on YouTube. There are lovely, loving people on YouTube. And that's the people that I, I need in my life right now. I don't need the mean people. I don't need the, the, you know, the people that think they're better than you. I don't need that kind of person in my life right now. I need the loving and and the caring and the people that want to be my friend and all that kind of stuff. I just, I need that in my life right now. I need that upbeat and, you know, I, I don't want to feel so sorry for myself all the time, but it's really hard to pull yourself out. Anyway, I will be back with the Get Ready With Me. I love you guys, and don't leave any mean comments, please. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.